Welcome back my friends, nice to have you. Uh, in this video we'll be looking at question 11, part B, and this question generally falls under the topic uh, vectors and matrices um, in the syllabus. Now in part B they, they gave us a statement here, the transformation M which is equal to 0 A B 0, it maps the points R and T onto their corresponding image points R prime and t prime such that r the object point is 7 2 which is mapping onto and this little arrow means mapping onto its image point r prime which is 2 negative 7 and t which is the t the object point negative 5 4 is mapping onto t prime which is the image point 4 5 now in part 1 they're asking us to determine the values of a and b which is the matrix here. We don't know the values here for A and B, so that's what we're, we're going to be finding now. This is pretty easy. However, I must note that this video may, may take a little bit longer because I'm not going to skip any steps, okay? I want you to be absolutely clear, so I'm going to walk you through this lesson, and I'll be teaching you to multiply a 2 by 2 matrix also, okay? Good. Now, let's get into it. Now, remember, when multiplying matrices, okay, multiplication of matrices aren't commutative and the word and the word commutative means that when multiplying the order doesn't matter so for example you could have said 2 times 2 okay you could have said 2 times 3 rather let me use 3 you could say 2 times 3 is equal to 6 and also you could say 3 times 2 is equal to 6 so uh, multiplication is commutative when working with real numbers okay because it doesn't matter the order that you multiply you'll always get the same answer now with matrices it's a bit different uh, multiplication is not commutative so the order does matter matter okay so since they are saying that the matrix M uh, maps these two points the point the object points onto their corresponding image point in this case we have R here is mapping onto R prime and T mapping onto T prime then if this is the matrix that maps each point onto its corresponding image point then we have to put the matrix at the front okay it has to go at the front as in this case here it would have to go at the front that's that's that that would be the position of the matrix at the front so here I am going to just write down my matrix here I have uh, my matrix 0 a which we don't know um, B 0 and I'm going to close my bracket there and it's mapping onto so I'm multiplying now and if you notice something carefully here now guys given the fact that they gave us the given the fact that they gave us the object points and they gave us the object point R72 and the object point T negative 5 4 so what I'll be doing these these points are in coordinate form okay they are written as coordinate so to calculate them I would have to write them in vector form in the matrix okay so for example in my first position here let me just change my color in my first position here since they gave me R first I'm just going to write my object point for R right there so R is 7 7 2 okay and if you notice in vector form, the top value now would represent the x value and the value at the bottom would represent the y value, just as in this form. This would be the x and comma, that would be the y value, okay? Now, um, beside that now, I'm going to write my points for t and I would have the same thing, 2 and negative 7 now would be at the bottom, okay? No, my bad, uh, t. That's not T, that's R prime. Okay, so let's write T, and T would be negative 5, okay? Uh, and 4 now would be at the bottom there, all right? So I'm just going to close up this quickly, and let's just, let us just equate that now, because since they're saying that the matrix that they gave us here is mapping the points onto, then it simply means then if I should multiply my matrix by the object points, it should give me my corresponding image points, okay? And my corresponding image points are R prime, and if you notice, since I had R first here, and I must now write my R prime first, and my R prime is 2, uh, negative 7, 
and my then now I must put my T prime okay my image point corresponding and that would be four five at the bottom okay and I'm going to close that up now now if you notice I have a two by two matrix two two by two matrix on this side multiplying and I and that is equal to a another two by two matrix so let us just expand these matrix just let's multiply them out so basically when multiplying matrix okay my friends you're multiplying row and I'm going to draw a arrow here this row by that column okay so I'm going across and I'm going down. And then again, I'm going to use this same row to multiply this column over here, okay? And then I'm just simply going to repeat the, the same procedure with the row at the bottom, B0, all right? So let's quickly get into it. So what I'll be doing now, I'll be saying zero, z this zero times this seven, okay? So we know that zero times seven will give us a zero, so that's zero, zero times anything times zero is zero. Then I'm going to use the A now, okay? So I'm going to say A times two will give me A plus two A, okay? Good. And then now I'm going to, I have, I have, I am through using the zero and the A, the, the top row to multiply this column. So I'm just going to use the same row now to multiply the second column. So now again, I'm saying zero times negative five, this negative five that I have over here. So zero times negative five, we know that's zero. So let me put down my zero. So that's a zero. And I'm saying now A times four, the, this A here, times the 4 at the bottom there now. So a times 4 will give me a plus 4a. Okay? And I'm closing up my my brackets now. So I've used the top row to multiply the two columns. So I'm, I have to now repeat the same steps with the bottom row. Okay? So I'm saying b times 7 will give me a 7b. Okay? And then I'm saying 0 times this 2 here will give me a 0 times 2 is 0. So that will give me a 0. And then now I'm through using the bottom row to multiply the first column. So I'm going to use the same row here to multiply the second column. So I'm saying now simply b times negative 5. Remember this is a negative 5. So b times negative 5 will give me a negative 5b. Okay, so let me change the color. So that will give me a negative 5b. And then I'm saying 0 times the 4 at the bottom there will give me 0. Okay, so basically here, um, I'm just going to equate it back to my matrix that I had here on my on my um, right hand side. So I had a, let's just take back down those values. I have a 2, negative 7, okay, for and five okay so now my friends um this is a very important thing in matrix and let me just pull the screen up a bit so we can get a little bit more space okay i think that should be good okay good now basically when you have um two matrices of the same order um e that is equal to each other then corresponding corresponding values are equal so basically what do i mean by that um if you should look at this, I have a two by two matrix here on my left, two rows and two columns. So one, two rows and one, two columns. So this matrix here on my left hand side is a two by two matrix. Also, this matrix on my right hand side is also a two by two matrix. I have one row at the top, one row at the bottom, and see I run in my pointer across. That would suggest that rows run run across. So one, two rows, and I have columns going down, one, two column. So in on both sides of my equation, I have two two by two matrix matrices. So whenever you have two two by two Whenever you have two matrices of the same order that's equal to each other, then corresponding values are equal. So I am going to take this value here, 0 plus 
2a and I'm going to equate it to 2 okay and then I'm going to take this value here that's what I mean by corresponding values are equal if you notice this that I'm taking here the 0 plus 4a is in the top right hand corner so I'm going to look for the value that's in the top right hand corner okay equate it to that then I'm going to take uh, this value here 7b plus 0 and I'm going to equate it to my 7 there if you notice this is in the top bottom this is in the bottom left hand corner and my negative 7 is in the bottom left hand corner and then I'm going to take my negative 5b and equate it to plus 0 and equate it to 5 okay so quickly um, 0 plus 2a is the same as 2a okay guys so I can simply say here that 2a is equal to 2 okay and 0 plus 4a is the same as 4a okay so I can say here then that 4a is equal to and it's in red so I'm matching with red is equal to 4 okay and here we can solve for a all right and let's see what we get out um, here I have 4a is equal to 4 4 is multiplying a so let's divide through by 4 divide both sides by 4 4 will cancel 4 divide this side by 4 4 into itself once 4 into 4 goes once so therefore a is equal to 1 okay uh, let's do the same thing for for 2 here um, 2 is multiplying a so let's divide let's do the opposite of multiplication dividing through by 2 divide both sides by 2 2 divided by 2 um, leaving me with a is equal to 2 into itself goes once 2 into 2 goes one time so again a is equal to 1 so in both cases a is 1 okay so the true value of a is 1 so we have we have solved for a let's solve for um, my b so what I'm gonna be doing I'm taking 7b plus 0 which is underlined in yellow here and I'm going to match it with my negative 7 so I'm taking 7b uh, plus 0 we know anything plus 0 is itself so I'm equating that to negative 7 okay because that's the corresponding value 7 is multiplying b so let's divide through by 7 let's divide through by 7 7 will cancel 7 leaving me with b is equal to 7 into itself goes once 7 into negative 7 goes negative one time so b would be equal to a negative 1 let's check the other value for b to see if we also get negative 1 okay which is the true value of b so let me change my color here now now I'm going to say again um, negative 5b so I have a negative 5b and that is equal to 5 now okay so negative 5 is multiplying b so let's divide both sides of our equation by negative 5 so here I have negative um, 5 divided by negative 5 will leave me with a positive b so um, let's divide this side 5 into itself once negative 5 um, into that goes negative 1 time so again b is equal to negative 1 so therefore our values are so we can make our statement now okay let's state our answers therefore a is equal to positive 1 when b is equal to negative 1 okay guys so now since we have found our values for a and b we can now substitute it in the matrix that they had given us originally okay so I'm just gonna pause the video and write my statement soon be back so so therefore my friends we can say then that the matrix M that maps uh, the object points that we were given onto their corresponding image point is 0 and remember a we had a to be 1 so that's 0 1 and B we found that to be negative 1 okay and 0 so that's the matrix that maps uh, the object points onto their corresponding image points this video will be part 2 we'll be doing part 2 where we describe fully the transformation that is now occurring okay and that will be pretty much interesting bye bye